Welcome to the first episode in our web series that examines the Oracle Business Intelligence applications. Over the next several weeks, the BI Apps team at KPI will be releasing a series of recordings, webinars, blogs, and ebooks that will take a deep dive into Oracle's analytic applications. In this episode, we will be providing an overview on the latest release of the Oracle BI Apps, version 11.1.1.7.1. In the case you may not know, KPI Partners is the most experienced strategic consulting and systems implementation firm focused on OBIEE, the Oracle BI applications, Hyperion, and DECA, and Exalytics. As an Oracle Platinum Partner, the experts at KPI have successfully completed the most complex implementations of Oracle BI in the world. Along the way, KPI has been honored with the Oracle Titan Award, the Oracle Excellence Award, and as Oracle Specialized Partner of the Year. KPI is also recognized as one of the fastest growing companies in America. To receive notification of when we add new episodes, articles, webinars, and ebooks as part of the series, please subscribe to our blog at kpipartners.com slash blog. Your presenter for this session will be Jeremiah Johnson, KPI's Senior Director of Marketing and Business Development. The, the goal for this session is to provide a brief overview of the latest Oracle BI Apps release. Our BI Apps team at KPI will be diving into detail of many of these areas in later sessions. For this session, we will be talking through a basic description of Oracle's BI applications, the new architectural components, new solution areas, and enhancements to some of the existing solution areas. So what exactly are the BI Apps? Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition, or OBIEE for short, is a comprehensive, innovative, and leading BI technology platform. Oracle Business Intelligence applications are complete pre-built BI solutions. Solutions that deliver intuitive role-based intelligence for everyone in an organization. So OBIEE is the platform, OBI apps is the solution. OBIEE by itself comes with no pre-built content, is essentially the delivery mechanism. It's like a blank newspaper. Oracle BI applications is like all the content for your newspaper. The headlines, the stories, the charts, and the graphs. Basically, the Oracle BI applications are a series of pre-packaged BI solutions constructed to cover several different functional areas. These pre-packaged solutions also contain the plumbing to suck out the data from our favorite ERP systems and present that data to the user via pre-built dashboards and reports, customized dashboards and reports, or via ad hoc queries. Oracle just released a new version of the Oracle BI applications, 11.1.1.7.1, also known as 11G. This new version features major changes to the software architecture, new package solutions for student information analytics and indirect spend planning, enhancements to many of the existing package solutions, and new bells and whistles for the interface, navigation, and mobile features. So, in summary, the BI apps are pre-packaged analytical solutions for the Oracle BI platform, and Oracle just released a new version with significant enhancements to their Oracle BI application software. The new BI Apps release leverages the power of Oracle Data Integrator. This is a huge development, a development that we actually thought deserved more attention than a simple dot release. The previous versions of the BI Apps used Informatica as the primary data integration tool. OBIA 11.1.1.7.1 can alternatively use ODI as its ELT or Extract, Load, Transform functionality rather than ETL for a setup that can provide increased performance and reduced data integration costs. The utilization of Oracle Golden Gate for data replication is now also a prepackaged option. Golden Gate can help eliminate the need for ETL batch windows and minimize performance drains on online transactional processing systems. KPI already recommends the use of Golden Gate to enhance the capabilities of KPI's exclusive solutions for real-time financial analytics and real-time supply chain and inventory analytics. A new configuration manager called Business Intelligence Applications Configuration Manager, or BIACM, provides a centralized web-based administrative user interface to simplify the setup and maintenance of Oracle Business Intelligence applications. The new Functional Setup Manager, or FSM, works in conjunction with Configuration Manager to track and manage implementation projects and the required functional setup steps. 
There are three main architectural components for the 11.1.1.7.1 version of the Oracle BI applications. Oracle Data Integrator, the BI Apps Configuration Manager, and the Functional Setup Manager. The release of 11.1.1.7.1 features two new modules for student information analytics and indirect spend planning. Oracle Student Information Analytics is a much anticipated extension to PeopleSoft campus solutions and will likely be a key implementation initiative for thousands of higher ed institutions currently using the campus solutions ERP system. The key areas of analysis in the new module are recruitment and admissions, student records, and student finance. If you were to plug Oracle Student Information Analytics into Google, you are likely to be presented with a bunch of first page results that feature a student information analytics solution exclusively offered by KPI partners. KPI has extensive experience in the education industry and years ago created a pre-built analytics application specifically designed for educational institutions called, you got it, Student Information Analytics for Oracle BI. KPI's solution is different than the new Oracle module in that it is ERP agnostic and provides pre-built analysis on grades, test scores, schedules, enrollment, school performance, and compliance reporting for regulatory agencies. To avoid confusion with the new Oracle BI Apps module going forward, KPI is renaming their exclusive solution as School Performance Analytics for Oracle BI. Indirect spend planning enables procurement and line of business teams to uncover high opportunity spend reduction areas and improve future planning cycles by monitoring and evaluating spend performance. Indirect spend planning integrates directly with Oracle eBusiness Suite and PeopleSoft, but will also leverage Oracle SBase for what-if analysis and scenario modeling to predict spending patterns. To summarize this section, the latest BI Apps release features two new modules for student information analytics and indirect spend planning. Let's take a very brief and high-level view of the enhancements to the existing solution areas. KPI's BI Apps team will be going into detail on these enhancements in subsequent recordings. HR Analytics features expanded analysis for time and labor analytics, payroll analytics, and workforce gains and losses. Procurement and Spend Analytics contains a new content area for sourcing analytics to help analyze negotiations. Supply Chain and Order Management Analytics has enhanced inventory analysis and new item cost history. Financial Analytics is now enabled with Budgetary Control Analytics and Fixed Asset Analytics for ODI and Fusion. KPI is the only partner who has built an exclusive application extension for Fixed Asset Analytics for use with Informatica. Project Analytics features new out-of-the-box content areas that include resource management analytics and project subledger reconciliation. Projects also comes with an optimized user interface for specific user perspectives. And finally, within CRM Price Analytics, eBusiness Suite is now an approved data source. CRM Analytics now contains support for service contracts and indirect forecasting. The main takeaway here is that there are several enhancements to the existing pre-packaged solution areas within the new BI apps. I hope this provided a decent high-level overview of version 11.1.7.1 of the Oracle BI applications. There has been a major architectural change with the introduction of Oracle Data Integrator. There are new solution areas for student information analytics and indirect spend planning. And there have been many enhancements to the existing solution areas that our team will be profiling in detail within later sessions. If your organization is working towards an Oracle Business Intelligence solution and you feel KPI Partners may be able to add some value to your efforts, please reach out to us through kpipartners.com and we will have a member of our customer care team assist you with any questions you may have. We also invite you to visit our webpage for our web series on examining the Oracle BI applications. Check out all of our recordings, ebooks, webinars, and articles on the latest version of the Oracle BI apps. It's at kpipartners.com slash BI apps. To receive notification, we add new episodes, articles, webinars, and ebooks as part of the series. Please subscribe to our blog at kpipartners.com slash blog. That's kpipartners.com slash blog. And you can also follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at KPI Partners. We appreciate you joining us for this session. Take care.